like there's too much like contrast or something, I don't know. sharing the live Glasgow Fortune work Steve Connor best friends sure hey PJ how you doing really annoying me I don't know what's different about it tonight but it's just not doing me any fucking favours I'm alright PJ thank you Connor beautiful oh thank you that's cute I was going to do some ask Connor questions that people sent me on Instagram but I'm not sure I think we're going to leave that for 
a video on my YouTube channel. Somebody keeps calling me on Snapchat all day. I'm going to have to block them. It's getting too fucking much at this point. Um, I'm busy. Don't call me. See you later. What have you all been up to? And then I look weird. Like, what is it about it? Hold on. It's just really not doing me any favors. Where's the slinky? I am um, detangled it and then put it back in its original place. Um, you've been working today. Oh, well, at least you've finished work now for the day. So you can chill. I think I might have to, yeah, I think I might have to go and sort this lighting out and then come back when I look better because I don't know. I just look like really weird. Maybe I just need to sit forward like this. This looks better, right? You look perfect, I'll PJ. Thank you. Okay, here's some beat sounds. to watch them all the time that's what made me want to start making them I don't know what's going on with that hey Susie can you eat me all right like this hey Susie how have you been hey Susie yeah you can been having panic attack five hours straight why What's been going on? I've been the same this week. Let's see how I muted so I could cough loud. What's been going on, Susie? Think about it like this. Is it something that's going to matter in a week or two weeks or a month? And if it is, is it something you can control right now or do anything about right now? If not, then you should pour it out of your mind until you can do something about it. And if it's totally out of your control and something you can't do anything about, then worrying about what's going to take away today's peace and that's not productive. Um, I follow all of your content. Thank you for existing. Oh, thank you for following. Um, I'm glad that you follow everything. I saw my ex that broke my heart in the park with a girl and a dog. I need to get a grip. Oh. Park with, she was in the park with a girl and a dog. Well, sorry to hear that. Um, 
See, that's not the type of things I tend to have panic attacks about. That would just like get me down and depress me. But um, yeah, you're welcome for the advice. Um, stay strong, you know. It's what it meant to be. Otherwise, you would be together right now, wouldn't you? So maybe it was a luck, a lucky escape. Have you done the Q and A's? Not yet. Um, I was gonna do a video today for my YouTube channel, but I decided to do this instead. <laughs> my back hurts from the gym. Um, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the Q and A. It's like an advice section, you know, because. You might think you're just selling pictures and, you know, doing ASMR. What do you know about anything? You're just some bitch. But actually, I've lived a lot of lives. I grew up pretty quick as I had to because of traumatic childhood experiences. And um, I've got a lot of life experience, in my opinion. I used to always... I used to always hang about with people who were much older than me because I felt like all the people my age were just so immature because I had to grow up quick. Everybody I knocked about with when I was like 13, 14, 15, they were like in their 20s, mid 20s. So it's literally gone away a bit after joining. I needed distraction. Good. Good. Get them out your hair. Gotta get them out your hair. Your hair. Okay. Let's chill. And chat. Hello, Emman. It's ASMR. Do you like my beats? Hello, Luke. Have you had a good day today? For liking the live, Susie. Everybody, feel free to tap the screen and like the live. Let's have a finger workout. Tap, 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 tap. Your beats are lovely, thank you. Good, thanks. How's yours been? It's been good. I love Sundays. I love Sundays because it's like people don't really expect a lot from you. But, I don't know what it is about it. I feel like because the pressure's off to be productive. Because everyone's always like, Sunday's the day of rest. Sunday's a cheat day. I still get up and go to the gym. I make a Sunday dinner for everybody. I, it's like one of my most productive days, really. And so I love a Sunday. People, there's, you're either a, a love Sundays person or you're a, a hate Sundays person and I feel like the people who say I hate Sundays don't get it like you know I love your shots, thank you Sim, I always go gym on a Sunday, yeah and because it's a Sunday you don't really feel like you need to do that much but when you do you feel like so accomplished after and so yeah that is why Sunday is my favourite day and Fridays do you still do drag? Oh. no every now and again I do when I feel like just sitting and like doing something it's like a hobby you know it's like an art form every now and again when i'm feeling really low or i've got something really shitty going on in my life i'll do a paint and i'll go and buy a canvas get some oil paints and i'll do like a painting and that, i put how i'm feeling down into the painting but when i do like drag makeup or whatever it's just, I don't know, it's when I feel like I want to do something, nothing in particular, just like a bit of art, and so I'll just do it. Um, Tango Apple is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes, it is. Okay. Beads. Hi, Nave.
weird, so you still do drag every now and then, yeah. It's distorted. I know. Is it, when I'm, is it when I'm doing the beats? Is it when I'm doing the beats? Oh, I heard it just then. Shit, maybe I need to hold it further away because it's a microphone. My automatic instinct is to be like, but that's not right. I should do this type of microphone. Stop. Sorry. that better I had it turned up from a video I did the other day with it what's the highest hills you've walked in probably 10 inches platforms I would say there we go thank you for pointing that out PJ thank you for the like Susie Scotty, did you just, did you just snipchat me? Thank you for the Ross K. Can I have your belt today? No. Mm -mm -mm. Get that belt out of your mind. I should never gonna have it. I said you could borrow it before I've changed my mind. Where are you? On the couch. What do you mean where, like, geographically? I'm in the UK. In the north, northeast of England. Durham, where are you from? Thank you for liking the live PJ. A scar or a blow a brow slit, it's so clean. It's a scar. Can you see right there, like the, the scar on my skin? Yeah, from Derry, Northern Ireland. Lovely. My um, best friend is from Ireland, she's Irish. Thanks, Alice. Are you just trying to give me compliments now? So I'll let you use the belt. <laughs> Are you got? I think that meant to say gay. Yes, I am. How did you get the scar? I was in a car accident when I was a kid. You want the scar and the belt? You want to be me, Alice? <laughs> you want to be me? You're obsessed with me. I'm joking. Oh my god, I remember you. Do you? Where from? Where from? Can I ask how you deal with your anxiety and panic attacks? Sure. I take propranolol that I get from the doctors um, only when I really need to. But um, when I'm getting panic attacks, I have to sort of like get busy doing something. Um, if it's something that I'm just stewing on, stewing on, stewing on, and I know there's nothing I can really do about it, I just have to let it like run its course. I just have to like make myself busy doing something. Um, and yeah, make myself busy. If it's something that I can control and it's something I can like fix then I just have to try and fix it as quick as possible. Um, but take like half a proper and all or whatever before I start doing it, because then the anxiety just goes. Joking, that was so weird. <laughs> I was joking too. You're welcome, Susie. I went to a mental health appointment the other day, and she was like, um, 
she was like, do I have deep breathing? And I was like, sure, I will. Like, when I'm having a panic attack, I can hardly breathe at all. Never mind, breathe deep. So, <laughs> I'll try it, but, you know, can't guarantee it's going to be any use to me. So maybe try deep breathing. Try, um, like, do you ever get with your anxiety, you feel, like, detached? And, like, disassociated? You need to try a grounding technique where you, like find um so whatever your favorite color is wherever you are find um three things in the room that are that color so you find the things in the room and then you find three things that you can hear so like three different sounds so like you listen and like at the minute i can hear the fridge i can hear like the cars on the road outside um i can hear that I can hear myself sniffing and then I'll choose three things I can touch so like my shoe or my thing or a bracelet or like the couch and then it really does um, bring you back into yourself type of thing I take a lot as well I know the feeling of anxiety just start to try meditation see so I can't really meditate. I have ADHD, so like I get really distracted. So I, if I just sit there, my mind's thinking about a million different things. So it's like I just can't really meditate. I need to get on some sort of medication for ADHD. It's going to take a long time. Um, skincare recommendations. Your skin is glowing. Thank you, Susie, um, for the gift. I use only simple simple face wash simple mm, uh, simple moisturizer and i've only recently started using um what's it called i think it's from dermalogica it's a toner so i put loads of this like simple moisturizer on and then i spray the toner and then i rub it all in like all down my neck and everything as well um and then sometimes i put factor 50 on my face because apparently you're supposed to wear it every day even if it's raining so i've started doing that and it's made my skin really oily but like i get oily skin anywhere like i could not put any moisturizer nothing on after the bath and my skin just gets like really greasy and i hide it being so greasy um do you have any tips for exam anxiety So, I don't really remember doing my exams, and I don't really know what I say about that, but what I will say is, being a performer, the only time I get stage fright is if I haven't rehearsed enough. So, as long as you do enough research, you should be great for your exams. You're welcome, Susie. Anxiety is horrible. It's like an unbearable feeling for me at the minute because it gets so bad Over the slightest little things as well But yeah Preparation should ease your anxiety Absolutely mm -hmm. Yeah Like when I was performing quite a bit I used to always have nightmares that I was on stage and I didn't know what to do because I hadn't I hadn't rehearsed. Me too, honestly knocks me out. Mm -hmm. Like I am shattered all day every day because I'm just constantly having panic attacks about anything and everything. It's always the little things that make your mind get out of control. It really is as well, you know. Not in a sleep way, just drained. Yeah. It's bad, isn't it? But I'm trying to just practice, like, not giving a shit. Like, my friend came to see me not long ago, and we had a takeaway together or whatever, and he was like, I was like, I'm just shattered every day because I, like, have really bad anxiety, and he was, like, trying to give me a pep talk on, like, how to overcome anxiety. He was like, just tell yourself you don't give a fuck, and I was like... 
my brain and every fibre of my being is always giving a fuck too much about everything. <laughs> so, I can't, can't help it at all. You can't help worrying, but you can do things to minimise your anxiety. I mean, sometimes, sometimes you should be worrying about certain things, but then there are things, thank you Susie, but then there are things that like, just pointless worrying about because you can't do anything about it, you know. Thank you Susie, Susie, Susie. like it just automatically knows if you've done that on camera crazy anyway here's some beats no you didn't bring the vibes down i like to um talk about anxiety because it helps me not like sometimes i just feel like i'm the only person on this planet who is panicking this much about something so it helps to know that other people are exactly the same you know makes you feel like you're not a freak because sometimes i'll tell people like this is how i feel about something and they're like what the fuck why are you so scared about it and it's like i'm not scared i'm like well i suppose it's like a fear thing isn't it here we all are on a floating rock living in fear in fear is my only fans beg excuse me
as in tap the screen, tap the screen, thank you for liking the live, Zachary. Oh, thank you, Dilly Mare. Thank you. Thank you for the tofu. I've never had one of them before.
attention they've got. Thank you for liking the live. 10.9k likes. Okay, here's some more beads now. saw the triple numbers they were everywhere but i saw it as like a it's a good sign i've got friends who um i've got friends who are into all of that stuff so i messaged them and i was like what's going on here like 
is Job going to take me soon or something like that? Like, is this what? Like, is this a sign of something bad? And they were like, no, shut up, let's not. Hey, Raj, um, great. soon guys because um this lighting's not nice let's turn my head in and my ADHD is just absolutely off the chart I want to run run around like a maniac yeah Susie I'm gonna have to I need to go out for a run I need to burn off a bit of energy <laughs> Oh, PJ, don't be sad. Will you be uploading this to YouTube? Um, if you'd like me to, yeah. I wasn't gonna. I usually just upload like my three hour ones. But I can do if you like. Thanks, PJ. Yeah, are you into spooky stories or are any of you guys into spooky stories because I did a YouTube video recently and here's some art one where I was whispering spooky stories and um, I yeah that was it <laughs> and there were some really spooky ones because I can really relax to like spooky stuff or, like spooky cozy stuff and so, if you like that type of thing, go to my YouTube channel, link in bio. Some of them were about the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, I've watched it like three times already. <laughs> Good. I might do another one at some point, because I love spooky stuff. Um, I did do a one in front of my granddad's haunted fireplace, which is right in front of me now. Um, I did one where I was like, talking about my own ghost experiences so if you like that type of thing there's two video recommendations You're giving me that t-shirt you can have anything you want Daniel it's mine now bestie take it Take it, take it, take it. Hi, M. Or E, M. <laughs> What's your favourite food? Um, not that I ever eat it because I'm always on a diet. Donut kebab. Pizza. Garlic sauce. Yeah, we do, Daniel. Should we do some sort of, um, challenge like a makeup challenge but just like an arty one not like a drag one or anything like that thank you for the Ross cutie pie miss you ma yeah I think we should do like um what was what was that um thing that was on Netflix um it was the makeup competition Oh, I forgot. But it was really good. We should do like one of the challenges off there. Okay, bye Daniel. Love you. Glove up, that's it. Yeah. The, the colorblind guy, I chat to him every now and again. The one who's like colorblind off there, off season one. And thank you for the rose, Emily. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do we want more beats? <laughs> what does Alpha Pass sing again? 
it's not what um, Paul does uh, from the thing. Evening, Tony. Have you had a good Sunday?
See what I do. Yeah, yeah. What just happened? What the hell? Why is it doing this?
sexy, got banned. No, that's what I thought he was going to say. I feel like if you're on for a certain amount of time, it makes you verify. Like you have to slide a little thing along. Um, if it said I got banned, it would have just went off like it did before. I was just getting into my stride as well last time, really. Just sort of like relaxed into doing it and then it got fucking got banned. Yes, we did it. Thanks, guys. Um, I finished off detangling the slinky on YouTube because I thought the people have waited to watch me untangle this slinky, and just as I'm about to, I got banned. Um, I just started relaxing into doing my last live before I got banned. I got banned halfway through a live. I was few man. Do you know what as well? Every time I've done a live, apart from that one, I've not been comfortable. Like I'm sat here, my back is aching, I'm sat in such a weird position and I'm, I'm not comfortable. I don't feel well. <laughs> when I was doing that one, I felt so comfortable, so relaxed. Then they went banned me like a, you know, for God knows what. Thank you for the follow. You need a seat, table, sensory light. Honestly, your ASMR is fab. Thank you. Um, I've got a I'm trying to read what that says. Um, I've got a I've got a better setup than this. This was just a last minute decision to do this. Right, Susie. Do you know each other? I thought he was being rude. Oh. Um, yeah. What are you on about, Adam? Are you being rude? Don't be rude. You'll get the, the stare. <laughs> have done their job they've done enough tonight I mean um yeah see you again soon I followed you on thank you for the follow um I'm gonna go and have either eggs on toast or an omelette for my supper so um yeah thank you for the follow Ellie um Thank you for the gifts, guys. Thank you, everybody who joined. I'll see you in the next one. Good night. Happy Sunday. Have sweet dreams, please. Thank you. And wake up feeling gorgeous because it's a brand new week and a whole seven days of opportunities. I should be, uh, um, I'm a, a philanthropist now, just to add to my list of talents. Okay guys, love yous, bye.